Be a man of character. Live your Procopian tradition. On pennants, postcards, and stationery. On notebooks, gym bags, and sweatshirts. On the backs of countless boys, one sees the words, St. Procopius Academy, a hundred times a day about campus. Procopians are proud of those words, and equally proud to be Procopians. They take pride in the Procopian tradition. Being a Procopian, however, demands responsibilities. Greatest among them is the responsibility to uphold the Procopian tradition. An individual student, whether in school or outside of school, is a Procopian. And by his conduct, all Procopians are judged. The Procopian tradition is summarized on the student body's own crest, the seal of Academy Student Government. Inscribed about the seal are the word, achievement, leadership, and character. This is Procopian tradition. The aim of St. Procopius Academy is to foster achievement in the personality of each boy and in particular, the greatest achievement, eternal salvation. Procopians work for perfection, especially in their spiritual lives. Character is the Procopian's greatest tradition. He is a man of character. He is courteous, honest, and reverent. His courtesy and honesty are displayed on the athletic field as part of Christian sportsmanship. Most of all, he is reverent, not only in chapel, but throughout the day, as he shows proper respect for his teachers and fellow students. The Procopian tradition has grown over many years from the student body themselves as an effort to establish a code of conduct for all Procopians to follow touching lives. Father Michael was a beloved teacher. He became head of the English department at the Academy in the Procopius days, 1957 through 1967, and was advisor for the school newspaper and yearbook. He will be remembered for the many ways he impacted students. His 50 years in the priesthood and his work with parishes, his mentorship to generations of students, his role in the planning and oversight of construction of the award-winning St. Procopius Abbey building, his work with Benedictine University's art program, including the chair of the Fine Arts Department and art curator, and his work for decades as editor of the St. Procopius Academy News Quarterly publication he founded. Early in 2009, Father Michael was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Compelled to thank Father Michael for his impact on their lives, a group of St. Procopius Academy, class of 1961 alumni, organized a reception in Father Michael's honor. Held in May 2009 at the Abbey, these Procopians informed Father Michael that they had made the initial deposit for a new faculty development fund at Bennett Academy. The gifts were given in Father Michael's name. Father Edward Cursera read a letter to a humbled Father Michael, informing him that his former students would honor his teaching excellence permanently by working to name the fund after him. The Procopian alumni established two goals to honor Father Michael. The initial goal is to raise funds necessary to name the Faculty Professional Development Endowment Fund for Father Michael. Then, through additional gifts to the fund, establish an endowed faculty chair in his name. The purpose of the Faculty Professional Development Endowment Fund 
is to institutionalize classroom excellence, as Father Michael demonstrated each day. To that end, the fund will provide individual faculty members opportunities to pursue professional and personal growth. Upon the receipt of $100,000 in gifts, the fund will be named the Father Michael Komachek Faculty Professional Development Fund with the expectation that this endowment will grow through its investments and its receipt of additional gifts. Upon reaching $1 million in gifts, the fund will be named the Father Michael Komachek Endowed Chair for English to support the annual operating costs of the department including providing individual faculty members opportunities to pursue professional and personal growth. Father Michael Komachek cultivated a love of English and an appreciation of writing through daily disciplined practice with the goal of perfection in usage, grammar, and style. Decades later, his impact lives on.